Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you again, and sorry that it took me a little while to do this next review. This is actually for an album review. I think it's the last album that came out for this Friday's releases for March 25th, which is for Michael Bublé's Higher album review that I just got done listening to uh, just a little bit ago. Uh, so I'm going to discuss what I listened to for all 13 songs on this new Michael Buble album and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this album review. Now, I personally didn't hate this album. I thought it was pretty damn good. Uh, there were some songs I wasn't sure if I was liking. Like, I think uh, one of them is Higher, Baby I'll Wait, and... Mother. Those were my least favorites. They weren't bad songs, they just didn't structurally execute with how the melody was playing out, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion, at least. I still enjoyed the rest of the album. Like, I'll Never Not Love You was a pretty interesting title for a song, and uh, I really like this song and how it's Michael Bublé is singing it. And it sounds really nice, and I think like a poppy jazz kind of song, I guess he's going for, with some songs on this album, but then My Valentine comes in, and that's more of a jazz swing kind of song that he goes for. So, it's a very jazzy song, but it's still a good song, so 5 out of 5 for I'll Never Not Love You and My Valentine. They were really well executed songs, and the instrumentals in My Valentine were pretty well done, so I really liked it. A Nightingale Sang in Berkeley Square uh, was a pretty outstanding song. It's very jazz like kind of song, so if jazz is not your kind of music, then that's okay. Uh, I'll respect your choice to either like this music or not like it but Michael Buble does have some good songs I think I got into him when I was like 15 or so uh after my grandpa passed away or granddad passed away which may you rest in peace because yeah uh which was like uh I think in 2010 or so I believe, so it, it was a while ago, but, uh, yeah, he was a good granddad, uh, but, yeah, I think he's the one that got me into Michael Buble, so, I checked him out, and I kinda liked his music, uh, so, Make You Feel My Love is actually a pretty good song, I really enjoyed it, and Nightingale sang in Berkeley Square was pretty good, so I'll give those two songs five out of fives. Baby I'll Wait is the fifth song on the album, and it didn't sound bad structurally, but there was some background choir singing that I don't know if I feel for, but I think it structurally sounds alright. It's an alright track, so 4.5 out of 5 for me. Higher is a, not a bad song either. I think they released a music video, f or he released a music video for this song, uh, Michael Buble did, and I didn't watch the music video yet, but I'm gonna check it out when I can, uh, but it was not a bad song, I don't know if I feel for it melody-wise, but still Michael Buble's vocals in it sound pretty good, so 4.5 out of 5 for higher. Not my favorite song, but it's a solid track. Uh, Crazy with Willie Nelson. Great song. They're both him and Willie Nelson singing are sounding really good in this song. So I really enjoyed this track. 5 out of 5 for this one. Bring It On Home To Me is a pretty nice song. So you're getting a lot more jazzy kind of songs in this album and a few pop jazz kind of songs. So some experimental pop jazz stuff and then regular jazz music in majority of this album. So Bring It On Home To Me is getting a 5 out of 5. Uh, don't Get Around 
much anymore was pretty nice. It's a very jazzy song, so if jazz is not your kind of thing, then that's fine. Uh, I'll respect your opinion on what you think of it and all that, but I kind of like it, and to, in my opinion, I really did like this song, so 5 out of 5. Mother is an alright song. Uh, lyrically, it doesn't sound bad, it's just how it's playing out melody-wise, I didn't know if I liked it or not. So I'll give it a solid rating of a 4.5 out of 5. Don't Take Your Love From Me was a pretty solid song. Well, pretty good song, I should say. My my bad, I'm saying solid. Uh, it's a pretty good song. So, uh, towards the end of the album, there's a lot more jazz kind of songs uh, f for the last three tracks. So, it doesn't sound too bad, jazz-wise. Uh, so Don't Take Your Love From Me is getting a 5 out of 5. I enjoyed how Michael Buble was singing the song and how it was executing. So, pretty good song. Uh, You're My First, My Last, My Everything. I'll say one thing about this song. I thought he was going to hit a certain range with his voice, but he kind of hesitated a bit and kind of played it safe, which I can understand. If you can't hit the note, then that's okay. Uh, but I thought he was going to at least try. But he did with Smile, so he really hit that high note that I was waiting for, or somewhat of a high note. So... Both You're My First, My Last, My Everything is getting a 5 out of 5, and also Smile has a great way of ending the album. So, they're both jazz songs, but they're still good songs, so 5 out of 5. Overall, production, mixing, and execution for this album, I really enjoyed it. I had a good time listening to it, and I see myself coming back to it more often uh, in due time. I don't know if it's... It's going to be on my best albums for sure, but I don't know if it's going to be the album of the year because there are some songs I wasn't sure if I was liking, but still. Uh, overall, I think Michael Buble's Higher album was a pretty good album. Highly recommend you check this album out if you're interested in some jazz music and some pop-ish jazz music and experimental stuff that he does with his jazz sound so it's still a good album so I highly recommend you check it out and give it a, at least a try to see what you think of it but first score for me I'm gonna give Michael Buble's higher album an 8.5 out of 10 in my opinion this is a pretty good album I still like his music to this day I just didn't get a chance to review the Love album back in 2018 because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not with what it was going for. But still, I'll give it a chance and check it out when I come around to it. And sorry if I feel itchy or whatever. I'm getting a little itchy in my back or whatever. So, uh, yeah. But comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the... Michael Buble album higher if you enjoyed it uh, or listen to it as well and if you enjoyed this uh, album review that I did for you guys for Michael Buble higher comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel like I said this is the last album review I'm doing for March 25th releases for the new albums so I'll definitely be doing a movie review in due time i just want to at least take a break from videos for a little bit and then i'll have another video coming out later tonight i think or hopefully sooner i don't know for sure gotta see what i'm doing but i will return to you for the movie review black light i think it's called with liam neeson and yeah uh, then the Uncharted movie review. I know I'm still a little bit behind on movie reviews. I'm trying to get caught up as best as I can. It's just these albums kind of distracted me from getting caught up with movies this week. So I've been very sidetracked 
from doing movie reviews. So I hope you enjoyed this Michael Buble album review for Hire. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Sorry that I itched my head for a moment at the eight and a half minute mark of this video. I, like I said, I have a flea problem in my house and got to take care of it sometime next week, unfortunately, because, yeah, uh, it does need to be taken care of, so, uh, I hope you enjoyed this album review, stay safe, take care, and as always, I'll see you in my next review.